uh, the master. Now, in reading about Kara Walker, those are some of the things that she also talks about. Now, if you include that in talking about the content, um, do cite your source. Um, if it's general knowledge, uh, you don't need to include where it comes from. But if you use uh, information directly from the website, indicate that that's where that information came from. So race relations, class relations, um, attention between these two figures. Um, and so maybe it's seeing more of the images from this series called Negress Notes that I would be able to create more, understand more about the narrative. But the content here in this one is certainly those kind of core elements about race and class and um, having something where it's being either uh, shoved down your throat or pulled from your throat, um, but you want to describe that. Well, let's look at another one of Kara Walker's pieces. We'll look at The Mistress Demanded, a swift and dramatic, the title of this one, Mistress Demanded a Swift and Dramatic Empathetic Reaction, Which We Obliged Her. What is the form and what is the content of this particular piece? Well, the form that it takes is, again, you can read this from the site. It's a projection, cut paper, and adhesive. So it's projected onto the wall. It's quite huge. When you look at her other work, um, you see that it's in a gallery space that she's projecting these pieces onto a wall. It also says that it's 12 by 17 feet, so we know that to be the case. Uh, part of the projection is in order to give the viewer a sense of uh, implicating them in the space. Um, the Art21 uh, interview uh, said that Kara Walker wanted to involve the viewer. So in the projection, the viewer sees their own shadow and becomes part of the silhouette or the piece. Subsequently, they are part of the story or the narrative. Now, I've kind of jumped into the content here without um, talking uh, as much about the form. OK, so what is it that I see? So let's describe this piece. Well, on the left, we have uh, a man who uh, looks to be uh, African American by the way that he has been caricatured with his facial features, okay? Um, also, you've got um, him with chains around his hands. He's got a cage over his head. You've got a young girl in the middle who has these kind of pigtails that uh, also could be um, seen as being uh, from an African American kind of culture. Um, on the right, and she's holding a very large uh, blade, knife, that's being projected into the woman on the right um, with this long flowing dress with long flowing hair and a very thin waist. So again, these caricatures of people, um, presumably that would be a, a master, um, a white woman who has very thin waist and um, embellished with uh, a very large and, and luxurious uh, gown. What do we make of the blues, the light blue, the dark blue, the shadows? In a way, it invites us in and gives us this little vignette, this little picture. Um, it's almost like a peephole uh, that we're kind of looking in on this horrific scene of this young girl um, stabbing uh, this woman, where this young, this man uh, is there watching and um, with his hands tied. He can't do anything. He can't save her. He can't uh, intervene. He's got his hands behind his back. What's the story being told here? So. I kind of went back and forth between the form and the content with this one. Uh, but you can see how one informs the other and how they're rather inseparable. 
So when you do this paper and you talk about the art, you're going to describe to us what you see. Tell us about the form. Talk about the lines that are created. I didn't mention the term line, but you could certainly say that these are strong outlines. A silhouette is an outline which creates a figure. It doesn't have any detail, but that detail is in your mind when you see the silhouette. So a real strong sense of line. Color, the shapes that are being generated. Uh, is it balanced? Is it symmetrical? Is it asymmetrical? Well, there is a real strong sense of balance. I would not say that it's asymmetrical uh, because you can't really fold it in half. It's not identical on each side. But there, you could say that it's rather asymmetrical in its balance because if I divided the image down the middle here, I would see uh, these two figures kind of counterweight this, this uh, single figure. So it's rather asymmetrical in its balance, but it still seems very balanced. We talked about the content. One of the things we didn't uh, mention was, how does this image make you feel? What's the relationship of the art to the viewer? How did you feel in viewing this? Well, when I start to look at it, I'm rather kind of horrified by the scene. At first I feel, oh, you know, it seems rather inviting, and then I start to look closer and I go, what is this telling me? What is going on? So that's where we're going to start. And we will be um, doing uh, a lot of talking about work in terms of its form and content.